Everybody in America hates getting pulled over and being slapped with a ticket for speeding or making an illegal turn. But at least we don't risk paying a fine for having a dirty car, such as the case in Russia. A law initially intended to ensure license plates were readable during the winter months. This law is a little more complicated than it seems however as washing your car anywhere other than your house or a car wash is strictly forbidden, so you better have your own home or a bunch of change. Today at Vice City Vehicles we're going over some of the countries with the most absurd car laws. Starting off our list is Cyprus where it is strictly forbidden to raise your hands from the steering wheel at all times. This bizarre law was created in an attempt to lower the rising frequency of accidents. And you better not be hungry while driving as Mediterraneans who choose to eat or drink on the road are actually breaking the law. This rule is even more unreasonable than it seems as drinking something as benign as water is still illegal. This pesky rule also applies in France. 13. Japan. Nobody likes being soaked by an inconsiderate driver while walking on the sidewalk, and Japan understands this. During the typhoon season in June, the streets become filled with puddles, and drivers who are caught splashing pedestrians can face fines of up to 6,000 yen or 55 US dollars and of course, you'll be expected to pay the victim's cleaning bill. While this law is actually quite people's friendly, this second harsh Japanese law is not. Drinking and driving is illegal pretty much anywhere on earth, but in Japan you can be sent to prison for an extended period of time if you are caught, and in some cases the passengers of your vehicle can also be punished as well. Next up is Germany. As most people know Germany is home to the Autobahn or the highway with no speed limit, where we've seen people hit speeds of hundreds of kilometers an hour with no penalty. Unfortunately, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Deutschland requires anyone wishing to modify their car to first be approved by TUV, an organization that specializes in safety testing. Similarly to Japan, Certain modifications, such as changing the engine or exhaust system, are not allowed. And you better make sure you have a decent amount of gas at all times as running out of gas here is considered as careless driving behavior and can result in a fine. While it may be a hassle to go through the tub, car enthusiasts in Germany have it a whole lot better than Italians. Article 28 of the Traffic Code in Italy states that any aftermarket modification not authorized by the manufacturer is strictly prohibited. However many still modify their cars choosing to run the risk of being stopped by an officer having a bad day. The guidelines for customization are so strict that even changing the diameter of your wheels can place you in hot water. Italy does not cut out of state visitors or new citizens any slack either. If you choose to import a foreign vehicle you have only 60 days before you are required to register your car or large fines can occur. 10. Animals always have the right of way, South Africa. Despite the fact that South Africa has an automobile for every five residents, the country believes that strict rules are needed to safeguard its livestock. Anyone in the country who fails to yield for cars or animals may face fines of around $500. Additionally, if you hit any creature on the list of precious animals such as an ostrich, extra animal cruelty charges can be put on your tab regardless of whether you had the intent to kill or if it was simply an accident. 9. United Kingdom. Most people in the UK have few complaints about the road laws, and there's quite a large car scene to complement this, but many find it ridiculous that you are not allowed to use your phone as a payment method when at a drive through Of course, mobile phone use is generally forbidden everywhere while driving. But seriously, in a drive through In fact, in the UK, your engine is required to be switched off and the handbrake is required to be pulled in a drive through Now imagine you weren't able to pay for your food since you left your credit card at home. Now you're in a bad mood and someone pisses you off in traffic. You better not make any overly rude gestures as this can result in a hefty fine. Doing so is considered a criminal offense and fines can range as high as 1300 pounds. Sunday is a day of rest in most Christian countries. This also applies to Switzerland. Accordingly, washing the car is also forbidden, so if you're intending to wash you better pick another day of the week. The reasoning behind this blasphemous law has to do with anti-noise pollution laws and pressure washers are banned altogether. Germany recently dropped this same rule and many Swiss are pushing for the same. Now this next rule is countrywide. In California women are banned from driving in a house coat or robe. You have to take the time to put on something proper, otherwise you could be fined. Things get even more bizarre in the Philippines. Due to heavy traffic in Metro Manila, certain areas of the city have laws that restrict certain vehicles from travel based on the day of the week and the ending number of your vehicle's license plate. For example, cars with license plates ending in 1 or 2 cannot drive between the hours of 7 a.m and 7 p.m. on Mondays on most main roads. We understand the need to do this because Manila is one of the most congested cities in the world with over 1.7 million citizens, and the traffic jams are epic indeed. 5. Copying South Africa is the UAE where certain animals have the right of way. In the United Arab Emirates, camels are an important status symbol. Respect for the hoofed animals goes so far that they always have the right of way on thoroughfares. Although this law has not been written down, it is nevertheless observed by the inhabitants. Saudi road law gets even crazier than this however, as many know in Saudi Arabia women are allowed to own a car but are unable to drive it. In 1990, a major protest saw 50 women drivers travel through the streets of the country's capital, Riyadh, where they applauded. 
Hardly. In fact, they were arrested and lost their passports and jobs. Most assume that unfair laws like this don't exist in America. However, you will be surprised to hear that in Louisiana and New Orleans the law states that it's illegal for a woman to drive a car unless her husband is running ahead waving a flag in front of it. Seriously, while this is actually enforced in this day and age it's still ridiculous that this law has yet to be vetoed officially. In Thailand summer weather can be extremely unbearable and we've even seen temperatures range as high as 44 degrees Celsius. In response removing your shirt would seem reasonable right? Unfortunately those who are caught driving shirtless can be ticketed. This law does not discriminate against men or women as well. Number 2. China. If a pedestrian runs into the road in front of you, what do you do? Probably apply the brakes fully. However, this is illegal in China. If you behave morally and do your best not to run over the pedestrian, you will be fined for stopping as it interrupts the flow of traffic. This ruling is fairly ironic as China's traffic fatalities are double those in the United States, yet China has only one-third the cars on the road. While this rule is actually enforced often the large majority of Chinese citizens have grown accustomed to this mannerism, and pedestrians are known to flock together in large crowds to lower risk. Number 1. Sweden the Scandinavian countries have their own set of driving laws, though most Swedes are pretty aggressive drivers. If you've ever driven in Stockholm, you've noticed the lack of patience, and hardly any of them stop at red lights. Now, another thing you may have noticed in the Nordic counties is that they always drive with headlamps on, whether it's day or night, sunny or not. Why? Because this side of the world often doesn't see the sun for days on end. And with many cities being dark and gloomy for months in a row, the government simply decided that headlamps need to be on at all times. This includes during the daytime when visibility is not limited. With all this talk of unfair rulings of the road we thought we should end the video on a high note. In Costa Rica, believe it or not drinking and driving is okay whether your vehicle is stationary or mobile. In Burundi, Guatemala, Paraguay and Togo, there's also no laws prohibiting drunk driving. In these countries, it's basically do what you want. When it comes to alcohol and getting behind the wheel, now it's up to you to decide whether you really want to be driving there in the first place. That's all we've got for you today, so what do you guys think is the most ridiculous rule on this list? We would love to hear about it down in the comments, and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for awesome weekly car content just like this.